Hey guys, Ethan J. Shaker YouTube channel here. Um, not been on YouTube for a while, guys. Sorry about that. Um, just was waiting for the right time to restart again. But this seems like it. Um, got some pretty awesome news later on in the video. But for now, we're going to look at our newest addition to our reptile collection. Um, it's the Uzumbara Peacock Tree Frogs. Um, as you can see, Sam is up in that corner on the log. Um, we've got two frogs in here. And we did have three, but sadly, Thor, the third frog, sad, um, passed away earlier on in the year. But um, we still got Sammy and Colossus, um, Arx, B and Peacock tree frogs, or big eyed tree frogs. They do spend most of the time on the ground during the day, so Sammy's out at the moment, which is actually quite rare, so I thought I'd take this video up to do it and um, do show you the tank really. Um, basically, as you can see here, um, first, just get the tank open. Um, got a pretty decent sized water ball, two of them, um, two cock flats, a. Just kind of like spindly big leaf thing, that's something quite like scone. And um, the same willow we had with the whites, the same um, same vine, um, a bit newer, like from what we had before, just this spiky leaf plant that goes over the water bowl. And um, at the same background, got a bit of a bigger heat map for them, which spreads the whole of the tank pretty much. Um, same lighting. Um, just about an inch of substrate underneath, which is just big enough for the biggest frog colossus to go in. Uh, it's the same size for Sammy. And yes, yeah, so that's about it. Well, not many people actually own peacock tree frogs in the UK. I think this is one of three pairs I've actually been seen breeding. Um, and let me get you into focus. Sammy is actually our grade A male. He's absolutely beautiful. If you see his back there. Covered in green flecks. Um, this guy is a bit like a convict tree frog. You can't see at the moment because he's not darker because he does change colour. But um, his legs usually have stripes on them. And he's got those big golden eyes as well and the big green flecks too. He's absolutely awesome. As you can see, he's not much past like the size of a juvenile. Yeah, he's not grown much since we got him. Well, he has. He's beefed up a bit, but he's not got much longer, so. He's still pretty small, but I'll just put him back because he likes sleeping during the day. There we go. Um, yeah, the same on polo plants. We're feeding these guys size 4 crickets at the moment. Just got them in a cricket keeper there with some pro rep jelly in the corner that they've been munching away at. Yeah. Um, the least cricket keeper is really good as well. It's, been, it's quite like revolutionised our feeding since we got it, so... It's good for the leopard gecko book as well because we can keep the same size crickets in for him as in these. Um, got a UVB natural light exoterra bulb up there. I think it's a three star UVB. Um, just to give him that extra boost. And then for calcium as well in the water, we have um, exoterra calcium eyes and aquatize to help them share down to give them that calcium just to eliminate MBD completely from the picture. And then, then their crickets are dusted three or four times a month because in the wild these guys don't have a very high calcium diet so we're trying to keep it that way um maintaining the temperature about 25 degrees so perfect for them and then quite average humidity to be fair not very high but not low as well to keep it like the rainforest that they would usually live in um yeah so that's about it um first video back on youtube in a while and sign out guys, bye.